There was no, no evidence being presented of any strength. Evidence can be hearsay evidence. It's still evidence, but it's still hearsay. But strong judicial quality evidence, anything that would say to me, you have a doubt, deny your oath. I will not do that. So Mr. Giuliani was claiming in the call that there were hundreds of thousands of undocumented people and thousands of dead people who had uh, purportedly voted in the election? Yes. Uh, and you asked him for evidence of that? I did. And did you ever receive from him that evidence uh, either during the call, after the call, or to this day? Never. Mr. Secretary, is there any way that you could have lawfully changed the result in the state of Georgia and somehow explained it away as a recalculation? No, the numbers are the numbers. The numbers don't lie. We had many allegations and we investigated every single one of them. In fact, I challenged my team, did we miss anything? They said that there was over 66,000 underage voters. We found that there was actually zero. You can register to vote in Georgia. When you're 17 and a half, you have to be 18 by election day. We checked that out, every single voter. They said that there was 2,423 non-registered voters. There was zero. They said that there was 2,056 felons. We identified less than 74 or less that were actually still in felony sentence. Every single allegation we checked, we ran down the rabbit trail to make sure that our numbers were accurate. I have characterized at one point it was kind of like a shovel trying to empty the ocean. And yes, it was frustrating. I even have you know, family members who I had to argue with about some of these things. And I would show them things. And the problem you have is you're getting to people's hearts. I remember there's one specific, an attorney that we know that we showed and walked him through. This wasn't true. Okay, I get that. This wasn't true. Okay, I get that. This wasn't true. Five or six things. But at the end, he goes, I just know in my heart they cheated. I understand that taking the courageous positions that you did following the 2020 election in defense of the rule of law and protecting the voters of Arizona resulted in you and your family being subjected to protests and terrible threats. Can you tell us how this impacted you and your family? Up till even recently, uh, it is the new pattern or a pattern in our lives to worry what will happen on Saturdays because we have various groups come by and they have had um, video panel trucks with videos of me proclaiming me to be a pedophile and a pervert and a corrupt and politician. Ms. Moss, I understand that people once uh, showed up at your grandmother's house. Uh, tell us about that experience. I received a call from my grandmother, screaming at the top of her lungs, like, Shay, Shay, oh my gosh, Shay, just freaking me out, saying that um, there were people at her home, and they, um, you know, they knocked on the door, and of course she opened it, and was seeing who was there, who it was, and they just started pushing their way through, claiming that they were coming in to make a citizen's arrest. After the election, uh, my email, my cell phone was doxxed, and so I was getting texts all over the country, and then eventually my wife started getting the uh, text, and hers typically came in as sexualized uh, texts, which were disgusting. You have to understand that uh, Trish and I, we met in high school, and we've been married over 40 years now, and so um, they started going after her, I think, just to probably put pressure on me, why don't you just quit, walk away. And Mr. Secretary, why didn't you just quit and walk away? Because I knew that we had followed the law and we had followed the Constitution. And I think sometimes moments require you to stand up and, and just take the shots when you're doing your job. And that's all we did. You know, we just followed the law and we followed the Constitution. And at the end of the day, President Trump came up short. But I had to be faithful to the Constitution. And that's what I saw an oath to do. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.